Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am back with the Xbox Series X and we're going to test out some more emulation. In my previous video, we took a look at some PSP, some N64, some PlayStation 1, some GameCube, and some PS2. But in that video, I actually left out Dreamcast. And I had a few viewers wanting me to come back to this. So in this video, we're going to be testing out some Dreamcast, some Naomi, a Thomas Wave, and Sega Saturn. We're going to see how this performs on the Xbox Series X using RetroArch. Now, if you're not familiar with emulation on the new Xboxes, the Series X or the Series S, it is totally possible to do it. You can do it from dev mode, and there's other ways to do it in retail mode also. This is not a tutorial video. This is more of a showcase video. If you're interested in getting this up and running on your Xbox One, your Xbox One S, your Xbox One X, the Series S, or the Series X, you can do a quick Google search, and there are a ton of tutorials online on how to get this up and running, either in development mode or retail mode. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into some Dreamcast emulation. Obviously, we're using RetroArch here, and I'm going to be using the Flycast Core. I will have the FPS listed in the top right hand corner for every game you're going to see in this video, and I'm also going to have the name of the system and some box art on screen so you know what's going on in it in given time. So far, I've went through and I've tested a bunch of Dreamcast games. In this video, we're going to test out four, but there is one issue that I've run into. You can always upscale with Flycast and RetroArch. You're going to go into the options and upscale from there. But if I try to go over 720p, the right half of the screen just starts to glitch out. The highest that I can go here is 720p with these Dreamcast games and the Flycast Core. And each one you're going to see running in this video will be using that upscale resolution of 720p, or as close as we can get to 720p given that we're at a 4x3 aspect ratio. Now, it really wasn't a big deal to me because I completely understand that it's pretty early for emulation here in RetroArch running on these Xbox consoles. So in time, we will be able to upscale. And I'm pretty sure that the Series S and the Series X does have enough power to upscale these Dreamcast games to 4K. We just have to wait a little while until the core is correctly implemented for these systems. But as it sits right now, as you can see, we're getting some pretty decent performance out of Dreamcast. So I'm going to go ahead and let a couple more games play out, and then we'll move over to Sega Saturn. Okay, so as you saw, Dreamcast actually performs really well, and when it comes to Sega Saturn, we're getting some decent emulation here also. I got a few games to test out, and just like the previous games, the FPS will be in the top right hand corner. I have the name of the system and the name of the game on screen at any given time. So first up, we have Virtua Fighter 2, and you might notice that there's no sound going on, and that's because it completely lost it. Right after the Sega Saturn boot screen, sound went out with this game. I also tried Fighters Mega Mix, and unfortunately, sound isn't working with both of these games using RetroArch on the Series X. And that's not the only sound issue that I ran into. With Panzer Dragoon, I'm not getting any music, but I do have sound effects going on. These were the only three games that really gave me the issue, but it was really odd because I've actually never seen this before. And if you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know I test this out on a lot of different devices and operating systems. Now, other than the sound issues that I've run into with some of these games, you can see that these games are performing really well on the Series X. And I suspect they'd perform equally as well on the Series S, given we do have the same CPU. So I'm going to let this play out a little more. We'll test one more Sega Saturn game, then we'll move over to a Thomas Wave and Naomi. Very long. 
Okay, so the final systems we're going to test here are Naomi and a Thomas Wave. We're still going to be using that Flycast core. It's the Flycast core for Dreamcast you saw in the beginning. It does have support for a Thomas Wave and Naomi. Unfortunately, I'm not using the correct ROM set, so a lot of my games would not work correctly. But I was able to get three up and running and three games that I personally really love to play. First up, we have Dolphin Blue. Again, FPS is up in the top right hand corner of the screen, and as you can see, this game is running at full speed. So when it comes to the Flycast Core on the Xbox Series X or the Series S, I mean, performance is pretty decent right now. And it's pretty impressive because this is in really early development for the Series X and the Series S, and over time, it's only gonna get better and better. So I got two more here to run through, and then I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this type of emulation for the Series X. So as you saw, with everything we tested here on the Series X, performance is pretty decent. And there's a lot of cores for RetroArch that are working perfectly fine right now, but then you're going to run into some that only a few games are supported, like PS2 and even GameCube. But it seems that Dreamcast pretty much has a lot of the stuff covered, and when it comes to Naomi and Atomus Wave, as long as you have the correct ROM set and the games compatible with the Flycast core, it's going to work out just fine on the Series X or the S. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you're interested in checking out some PSP, PS1, N64, GameCube, and PS2, definitely check out my first video. I will keep you up to date on this because it's still really early, and as soon as some developments come out, I will be doing some more testing. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.